Hi, my name is Rajiv Nagar. I am the Group Program Manager for the Storage and File Systems team here in Windows. In response to strong feedback from many of you, we made the task of accessing ISO files and VHD files a lot easier in Windows 8. Today I get the chance to show it off to you. In this demo, we will see how Windows 8 makes accessing ISOs and VHDs easy. On my local hard disk, I have two folders titled ISOs and VHDs. Within the ISO folder, I have a single ISO file. It's nothing else but a digital copy of a DVD. It contains Windows 7. I'd like to see the contents of this particular ISO file. All I need to do is double click on this file. Windows 8 creates a virtual DVD drive for me. I can now easily see the contents of this ISO file by going to that DVD drive. It's as if a physical DVD drive was connected to my computer and a DVD was inserted into it. All the contents are here. I can do what I wish. Going back to my original folder, let's go to the VHD folder. I have a single VHD over here. To access the contents of this VHD, all I need to do is what I did with the ISO file. Double click on this particular file. As I do that, Windows 8 creates a virtual hard disk for me. To access the contents of this hard disk, I can select it and I have the contents right there. The difference between the ISO and the VHD is simple. The ISO results in a virtual DVD drive created for me. The VHD results in a virtual hard disk drive created for me. When I'm done using these drives, all I need to do is select them and press eject. This works with both the ISO drive, the DVD drive, the virtual DVD drive, and the virtual hard disk. Thank you for your time. With Windows 8, as you can see, accessing VHD files and ISO files has become incredibly easy. You no longer have to carry around a bunch of these. You can just uh, store the files on your hard disk and get going. Thanks again.